Biden's visit to Saudi Arabia exposes the Ukraine narrative for the sham that it is. In a major walkback from his campaign pledge to make Saudi Arabia a pariah for human rights abuses like the assassination of Jamal Khashoggi, President Biden will reportedly visit Riyadh with the goal of persuading Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman to help the U.S. alliance win its economic war against Russia. The Guardian tells us the trip, quote, suggests Biden has prioritized his need to bring oil prices down and thereby punish Russia for its invasion of Ukraine over his stand on human rights. So, in order to punish Vladimir Putin for his war crimes and his assault on freedom and democracy, Biden will be courting a tyrannical war criminal whose country has no freedom or democracy. Washington will be ending its brief diplomatic dry spell with a government that has been waging a horrific war against Yemen while suppressing any semblance of human rights at home, in order to more effectively punish Putin for waging a horrific war against Ukraine which we are told threatens freedom and democracy throughout the Western world. I am not the first to note the risible irony of this development. The Biden administration is openly planning to pay homage to one of its closest allies, one of the most despotic and murderous tyrants on the planet, the Crown Prince. At the same time, it convinces Americans its motives for fighting wars is to defend freedom and democracy, tweeted Glenn Greenwald. The EU literally just banned oil from Russia, mimicking the United States' actions, because they don't want to give money to a dictator. So Biden is traveling to Saudi Arabia, to try and bring energy prices down, which is a vibrant democracy, as you all know, tweeted Richard Midhurst. As part of mobilizing support for the great war of freedom in Ukraine, Biden will be visiting the great beacon of democracy Saudi Arabia this month. What's a little murder and dismemberment between friends, tweeted Joseph Kishore. Indeed, one wonders if perhaps Putin could settle this whole conflict by staging a few mass beheadings and dismembering a Washington Post reporter with a bone saw to get on America's good side. A lot of people talk about the hypocrisy of the U.S. empire, as though being hypocritical is the issue. But the complete lack of moral consistency in U.S. imperial behavior is noteworthy not merely because of hypocrisy. It's noteworthy because it shows the U.S. has no morality. Despite the astonishing deluge of propaganda and brazen government disinformation we're being blasted in the face with, painting the war in Ukraine as a fight between good versus evil, freedom versus tyranny, democracy versus autocracy, the truth is much less flattering to the imperial ego. In reality, the U.S. is waging a proxy war in Ukraine for the exact same reason it is friendly with Saudi Arabia, because it advances its interests to do so. That's it. That's the whole entire story. The U.S. doesn't care about Ukrainian freedom or Ukrainian lives. It cares about strengthening its Eurasian geostrategic hegemony, and it would cheerfully incinerate every Ukrainian alive in order to accomplish that goal. A lot of commentators like to say the U.S. government's intimacy with Saudi Arabia undermines American values, but that's not true at all. The U.S. isn't undermining its values by cozying up with Saudi Arabia. It is perfectly honoring and representing its values. One only believes the U.S. is undermining its values by partnering with Saudi Arabia if one assumes that U.S. values include freedom, democracy, justice, and peace. This is not an acceptable thing for a grown adult to believe in 2022. U.S. values in the real world are domination, and global power. That's it. Really, if you think about it, Saudi Arabia is just a more honest version of the United States. Its tyranny is right out in the open instead of being sneakily disguised under inverted totalitarianism. Its oligarchs and its official government are the same people. It never tries to pretend its wars are humanitarian in nature. And when it wants to murder an inconvenient journalist, it simply does so instead of dishonestly framing it as an espionage case. In truth, when you look at its overall behavior on the world stage, the U.S. is far more murderous and tyrannical than either Russia or Saudi Arabia. 
pretending that Biden is lowering the United States beneath its values by visiting Saudi Arabia, is highly flattering to the U.S. If anything, it's the other way around.